Nice, shorts. It's common knowledge that diamonds are the hardest mineral. I have an engraver with a diamond tip at work, and we use them in all sorts of cutting tools. This is a diamond wafer saw, and it has diamonds embedded into the blade. Geologists commonly use the Mohs hardness scale when talking about how hard a mineral is. It starts with talc, which makes up soapstone. Next in order are gypsum, calcite, fluorite, apatite, orthoclase feldspar, quartz, topaz, corundum, which is ruby and sapphires, and then lastly, diamond. These minerals are numbered from 1 to 10, with diamond being the 10, which is as high as it goes. The idea is that any mineral can scratch any number less than it. So quartz can scratch feldspar, but not topaz. Calcite can scratch gypsum, but not fluorite. Topaz can scratch everything below it, and not corundum or diamonds. But diamonds being a 10 is a bit arbitrary, because this is a qualitative scale, not a quantitative scale. If we compare some quantitative values for hardness for these same minerals, diamonds are nearly four times as hard as corundum. And there are only a few other rare minerals that even get close to diamond, and nothing really beats it. If we look at a single carbon atom, it has these four electrons in its outer shell. If we first look at the atomic structure of graphite, it's made of these sheets of carbon rings, and each atom is covalently bonded to three other atoms, which leaves one of the four electrons available to wander. If we convert these atoms to the structure of diamond, you can see that each atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms. This is an incredibly strong lattice, and this arrangement uses every electron in the outer shell. And we can actually see this electrically. This is a multimeter reading resistance. If I take the two leads and touch them together, you can see that resistance goes down. Here's that piece of graphite from earlier. If I put the leads on it, it's also conductive because of that one free electron. I also have a small probe that I can use under a microscope. If I touch the leads together, I get a value. If I grab the diamond with them, however, there is no flow of electricity because all of the electrons are bonded to other atoms. However, hardness is not toughness. Here are some diamonds on a block of aluminum, a soft metal, aluminum for you Brits. 